What is up everyone? I hope you're all having a fantastic day today as always and welcome back to the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. So in the last episode we finally went to the Skellige Isles which is the third area of the world map that we are about to explore or that we started exploring I should say. And also we started on the story there which was to tend the wake together with Yennefer, because Yennefer is on the Skellig Isles, and we found her, finally. <laughs> and we attended the wake, which apparently is a ceremony, I think, to crown the new king of the specific, I guess, army or clan. I don't know what they are exactly, but yeah. And we did attend the wake, the ceremony together with Jennifer, of course, and at some point, we even got to romance Jennifer. Finally, finally, after so long, we flirted with Jennifer and ended up doing it. I was wondering, you know, how long it would take. But here we are. And unfortunately, in the last episode, at some point, I think in the one hour mark, the video my face cam battery died because of course it did it was a pretty large video so that's and we missed or I guess we didn't miss anything but my reactions and stuff were there but it was at the point where we romanced Jennifer and I think later we went and talked with Klach or Krach or whatever his name is and we had a chat with him to help us or to give us permission to explore the site that we don't have permission to explore because there are many druids there they forbid us to explore the site but we need to do that not only because Jennifer wants to but also because it's about Siri I think Siri went there and we can explore the location Maybe find some clues about her whereabouts in Skellig. I think something happened at that location and I think Siri might have been the cause of the thing that happened. So yeah, that's why we need to go there. And the last thing we did, like I said, was to speak with Krach and they, he gave us permission to go and explore it. Which is great! <laughs> By the way, I'm sorry if I sound a little bit weird today but I am a bit sick, like my throat is a little bit clogged, I think. I'm not sick yet, but yeah, I, I do have some throat pain. I don't have COVID by the way, if you were wondering. Definitely don't have it. But yeah, sorry if I sound a bit weird. But anyway, so I think today we will try and do one more main quest of Skellige. And perhaps a side quest if we have time. Depends on the main quest, depends if we will continue with more main quests or not. We'll see, we'll see. This was indeed the place where we were talking with Krach. And I think Jennifer was here too. We were all chatting this spot exactly in the last episode. So I think we need. Yeah, it says it right there. We need to meet Yennefer at the site of the magic cataclysm. So apparently a sort of magic explosion happened. I think it's a sort of explosion and because it was magic, it's, a, it's suspected that Siri was behind it for some reason. And we need to go to the site of the place that happened, explosion. Which, by the way, I think is a bit far. Oh yeah, it is very far actually. So perhaps we can do a few things as we go there. Because, you know, this region here, Skellige, is a new place. And there aren't any, uh, what do you call it, fast travel points. Any signpost to fast travel. There are only three here. And the rest of the map is empty. Except from this thing here. I don't know what it is, but yeah, we need to go with Roach, we are a good boy Roach, so 
So I guess the first thing we can do is go to the quest here, since it's along the way. But we need to get down first, because we are very high right now, if you can see. God damn, we're so high up in the mountains. I think there is a bridge here, from what I saw right now. Yep, here it is. This is the bridge that goes down all the way down. So let's run. By the way, I just noticed that the, we have an ability point, so we should use it, right? Yeah. I don't know why I didn't notice it before. Maybe we got it in the end of the last episode. Hmm. Not sure though. Um, so let's see. Kinda want to upgrade one sign here. I don't know. Hmm. By the way, I was just curious about something. About something that I've been trying to figure out for a while now. But I haven't told you guys. So if we go to our abilities here. Oh, who's singing? Nice voice. Anyway, <laughs> that caught me off guard so much. So, if you go onto one of the abilities, one of the newer abilities that we got, so instead of these five basic ones, there are more advanced ones as you can see here, and even more advanced ones than we haven't unlocked yet. And I, I got these two at some point in the past some episodes i don't know one of them is fire stream which is a another uh, ability for igni instead of a normal one and the other one is puppet instead of illusion so i've been trying to figure out how to, to use them and right now when i was about to upgrade i just noticed that it says on the abilities it says alternate sign mode and then it has the description of the ability. And that means that I can... Um, how do I say this? It's an alternate sign mode, so I can change my sign mode, basically. That's what I thought. I went on Google and searched how to use the alternate sign mode. And it said that what buttons you need to press and stuff. And we finally figured it out. So let me go somewhere there aren't any people and show you. I think right here would be pretty good. There isn't anyone here, I think. Yeah. So if we get the Igni one, the normal ability does this, which is like a stream of, not a stream. It's like a wave of fire, right? But if we hold the button, there it is. Did you see that? Let me do it again. First of all, so cool, I love it. Second of all, that's the ability that we got, which is, uh, what is it? Fire stream. So we finally figured out, that's what I was trying to say. We finally figured out how to use these alternate sign moves, these newer abilities. Same goes with the Axi, the puppet ability, which is this, which I think makes an enemy your ally they fight against other enemies, which is pretty cool. So yeah, we finally figured it out, finally. So I want to upgrade something from here. Hmm, perhaps we can get this one, just to have it, the Quen sign that we don't really use. I guess I can, just to have it, you know. And also to unlock these further abilities, I need 18 points in this branch. I need eight more, which is a lot. That means 8 points, 8 levels. So yeah, we should just get it, just to have it. Anyway though, those were great news. We finally figured it out. I'm so happy right now. I can finally use these abilities. Ah, yes. Right now, we were going to a quest, I think, which is right here, I guess. Yes, please. I think we need to talk with this guy. 
No. Oh, wait. This Skelly Girl. Let's see what you have. Your pardon, but I'm in quite a predicament. See, I'm a mm. wandering juggler from Occupy Temeria and... Temeria? You sure? Not Novigrad? What? Why Novigrad? No, I come from Malibor and... Uh... You're not cut out for this line of work. Memory's mm. too short. See, we met. But you were a respected oh. Novigrad merchant who wanted desperately to get home. <gasps> it's this guy. All right, I... Ah, you stole from me. This all looks bad, but I swear I, I'll pay I remember you. All of it with with interest. Just please, don't don't take me to these. Start paying. I won't turn you in, but you better return Definitely won't the crowns that I gave you. If I turn you in, but try to cheat me again. And I'll find you. I'll find you and I'll... Yeah, I ain't playing. Besides, you can go to the yard any time you want. Then I expect to see you later. You better give me my crowns back. It, it's not a side quest. It's just a guy that um, we gave money to. To go to Novigrad. Which apparently was his home. But he didn't go. Which is frustrating. But yeah, you get what I mean. He stole from us and we need the crowns back. As we go to the main quest, we can grab the notice points. Let's put a uh, custom marker there. And where are you, Roach? Here you are, good boy. Ah, I love Roach. Ah, let's go. Oh, yeah, man. We came across a hidden treasure here, which I think doesn't have any enemies. So let's loot everything. Ooh. Small chest key, apple, and some notes. Huh. Oh. It was a quest? Damn. So we found a quest through a hidden treasure marker. Which brings me to the point, by the way, that I need to start doing some of these. Some bandit camps, nests, hidden treasures, stuff like that. But I'm pretty sure I would do that offline, no, like outside of a video. I wouldn't like to showcase them in a video because it's a bit boring. And I don't think you guys like would like it. So if I ever want to play, or actually I do want to play, so when I decide to play The Witcher 3 offline without a recording, then I would do only, you know, bandit camps and stuff like that. Oh, druids come? Wait. Oh, I accidentally came here. Um, I missed the, what do you call it, the notice board. And I came to the main quest. Ah, uh, I'm so dumb. Let's go and grab the notice board real quick. Here we are. This is a nice cozy town. So no spots here. Hmm, did we get anything? No, okay. That's surprising. The first notice board that didn't give us anything. In Skelly. That's okay though. It's good that we went to explore it. Here we are now, back at the druid camp. Hmm, is that Jennifer? Oh, that's Hermion, the guy that we stole the mask from. Oh god, where, where are we getting ourselves into? Good! May all Skellige know? Jennifer of Vengerberg is a he knows. thief. Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen oh. anything. Doesn't I only borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! A oh, generosity. <laughs> Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely <gasps> worthless. Not to mention okay. the risk of burying us alive and all the Isles with us. Oh God. 
What are you Barry, talking about? What are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Urborus created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable mm -hmm. to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Urborus made the mask which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Oh. Waited until his longing only grew so piece. strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known mm -hmm. its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands Jennifer. and drown the living. He would use the mask? So, no one's ever used the mask? No, but... So you don't actually but. know if it works, how it works. Ah. Of course I do. The myths tell me. But it's a myth. The myths. Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, mm. it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. See? Well, try to understand, Yen. I'm not about to justify what Yennefer did. Then don't. But try to understand her. She's not doing this to anger you. She's doing it for Siri. I know there are maternal feelings at play, but this is no excuse, no justification. Oh, the mask of Urberos belongs to Skellige and should be used for the good of the Isle. If Yennefer uses it, yes, you have a point. It shall lose its power, not to mention. <gasps> Did she use it? No, no way. Yennefer's used the mask. Oh, yes. Good job, Yennefer. Where is she? Oh my god. This is it. This is getting... How would I say this? It's getting exciting. Ooh, Yennefer? Did you leave? Great. Foglet? Oh, come on. Ah. By the way, it's a good opportunity to use my new abilities. Ah. What was really? that? No, no more enemies. Damn it, Yen. I saw the foglets. I meant how they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. Mm hmm. What now? The really? mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where okay. past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. <gasps> Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Okay. Gonna run my mind again? again. <laughs> you object? No. You do it whenever you want anyway. <laughs> no harm in it then, is there? Let's go. Already found the first Where are we going? Let me loot this guy straight away. In the fur. Ah, there's only one of them. Let's go, let's go. Run. This is the spot. Put on the this? Mark. Any instructions? Here. How do I. Oh. So, like this. And don't oh, I have both the magic lamp and the mask of Roboros in the same slot. See, so I think it's with this mask. Um, what's that? The portal? Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. I, I didn't see know? anything. The way she moved, like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come, let's find the next. Did point. I miss anything? Ah, huh. maybe the next spot we can see. Ah! Oh god. Okay, now I want to use. Oh yes, that was so good. Use the mask. Oh. oh, I love that. Oh, I love you, Ikni. I love you so much. Use the mask, okay? Oh, now I can Watch see. Out. Watch out! <gasps> okay. Oh, 
Okay, so why don't I have Siri? A magic explosion of some sort. So powerful yes. that even the echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. But Siri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is the creepy. third spot. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here with I this like it. had a slim chance Very of surviving. Cool. I know what you're thinking. But don't worry. Siri can take care of herself. So where's oh spot isn't here. Don the mask. Mask? Oh, it's here. Let's see. <gasps> Who is that? Someone chased Siri. See that? Yes. Might have saw that. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads there? to Velen. Any chance you can figure out where Siri's companion fled to? His portal's gotta be nearby. I'll try to find it. Of Come. Course. Um, where are we going? This way. Jennifer? Ah, this way. So Siri fled to Velem. I wonder if we were be going back there. Well, After scanning. Ready? Use the mask. I am ready, I'm ready. <gasps> nice fight. One repelled the okay. other with powerful magic, then fled through a portal. A mage? Most likely. Mage. What mage though? Not Siri. Someone else. I think. It's Siri's companion and the one who wounded her. Yes, How do you know? companion. I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Siri's got a powerful ally. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll mm -hmm. be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look you at are. what you've brought down on us. If someone's death were to help you find Siri, would you start making human sacrifices as well? We're ready Just to do so anything, happens, actually. I'm willing to do anything for some people. Everyone else, everything else be damned, is that it? Stop panicking. Here's yes. your mask. <laughs> it is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. You I'll deal with later. So? Relax, old man. Jesus. By the way, he says that the mask is useful now, but he wasn't going to use it anyway. Right? <laughs> no one used it for so many years. And he wasn't going to use it anyway, he just s stored it in his room, his laboratory. So why is he so mad that we used it? Why is he so mad that it's useless now? <sighs> I have a feeling we've found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. I mean, I know that uh, we're not supposed to use the mask because it's dangerous. But he shouldn't be mad because we used it. Because it doesn't have a use anymore. You shouldn't be mad about that. Something's pinned under that tree. Body? Can you... I can. <gasps> it's the attacker, I think. Oh, nice one, Jennifer. <laughs> Jeez. Is that the body? No. Ah, there we go. Looks like a suit of armor. Right? Armor's clean. Yeah. No blood, no sword mix. Siri's friend must have. What do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. Ooh. The armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Looks like Probably one of those. Because it belonged to a writer of the Wild yes, Hunt. Yes, the Wild what? Hunt. That's what I was going to say. So it's true. The Wild Hunt. I feared as much. Mm -hmm. First mm -hmm. here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking Siri. for Siri. For some reason. But why? It's a long story that involves the elder. Oh yeah, because she has the elder blood. I forgot. Perchance She's kinda of special as well. Siri can do much more than her mother could. But right now we're much more interested in what the Wild Hunt was doing on Hindisfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the cataclysm struck here on Art Skellig. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk. 
in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence at that time of year. The islanders mm -hmm. sent the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women and an old man. Next up, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you so where is Hindersfjall? Hinders... Hindersfjall? Hindersfjall? What the hell? Hindersfjall, I think. <laughs> Very complicated. I cannot spell that. I'm sure I butchered it. <laughs> but anyway. Um, let's go together, yeah. Wait, can't we go together? Right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink. Well, I like I you, to. and I want to go together with you. You also drink them when there's no need at all. Very well. Let's go. Stay close to me. Good luck, of course. To you. Always. Inform me once you've learned anything new. Okay, Hermione. I like you more now that you've calmed down a little bit. That's for sure. Jesus, this guy. <laughs> Quite a few years since I was last on this. Oh. But if I remember Completed correctly, the quest. Not, should be this way. Okay. Which way? I think we are about to play now. Raised oh no, okay. There's still some cutscenes. Mm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. That's true. So wait. Are we in another island? No. I'm assuming... Oh, yes, we are, actually. Oh, wow. That's why we teleported to go to a whole new island. The main quest is missing persons. I need to follow Jennifer to the lodge, I think. Yes, yes. Hmm. I wonder if there's any side quest in this island that we are right now, so we don't have to come back later. Let's check everything. Sorry that I'm checking so much. Just want to make sure, you know. So let's just continue with missing persons one. Why not? Let's go, Jennifer. Hindersfall. Hindersfall. Let me check on the name again. Because I want to make sure I'm pronouncing correct. Maybe if I check here. Uh, not really. Okay, I guess we can't really see it. Need to follow Jennifer to Lofoten, whatever Lofoten is. I think it's the area. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Hmm. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? Oh, I remember you. And we're looking for she was at the ceremony. Please, this is urgent. Then speak. We're looking for Ashen We're hair. looking for a young woman, name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, Ugh. I do not recall say that. by that name. But I buried so many. I may have forgotten. This, this Siri. Has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes. 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 What happened? Did you to see her? I don't know. Saw her, but for a moment, right before, before it all, she was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. Craven. This Craven you mentioned. Does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching oh. him, speaking to him. Even uttering his name. Oh, what did he do to they outcast him? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. Okay. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. Who's Morkvag now? Or what is Morkvag? Morkvag. What's that? Who? Maybe it's a monster. The vilest man ever to inhabit. Oh, it is a man. Okay. <laughs> Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant Ugh. women. Mm -hmm. Know the type. They said he feared only one thing, the wrath of the gods. Mm -hmm. Morkvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, 
So he sailed to Hindusfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Hindus priestess Ulva stood Hindus in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As Ooh. her lifeblood left her, she cursed him. And Morfarg transformed into a beast. Oh, so he was a man, but he's a beast now. You've got some work to do. I do. It's pretty much like a contract. <laughs> I can do that. Yeah. I can sure. get rid of Morkvark. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that yeah, simple. Yeah. There have been those who have bested Morkvark, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse. He returns. Meaning I need more information. I understand. Hmm. But I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvark and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever sounds dangerous thanks I, I am Geralt I, I can escape everything <laughs> I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds but so be it uh, you should make an exception make an offering of their own blood before the tree Craven surely did so unless he lacked not only courage but respect for prayer as well you needn't worry about us is that your god? Freya's god. Yeah, I think Freya is their god that they worship. It's a pretty famous god, I have to say, from what I know. Okay, that's pretty cool. By the way, I have an idea. I don't know if I will do it though. So, since we have the new fast travel point at this island, it means that we can fast travel between the main island and then this island, the new island. Because we have a point, like I said. So how about we do a side quest on the main island, and then we can return using the fast travel point. It seems reasonable, at least in my eyes. I don't know though. You know what? I changed my mind. I think we'll do some side quests in the next episode. Because I really want to continue this one. It kind of caught my eye, you know, the missing person's quest. But I guess at least we can go to the notice board over here in this small town, it looks like. I don't know what it is. Before we go to the main area. So let's exit this. Worry, this trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? Okay, Yennefer. Let's oh. go! <laughs> so you wait a minute, Yennefer. I want to go to the notice board. Here it is. Here it is. Town. It's called Larvik. And wow, okay, it has many things here. Two quests already. Shh. I guess let's grab them. Yeah. You're a watcher? I see it right. Yes, yes, I am. Got work for me? If you're willing. Some manner of evil prowls about. Got us scared to venture out of the village. Is this a contract? Any idea what kind of beast this is? Oh, you hear all sorts of things. The wenches clean the nets, blather about costches and manticores, but I reckon that's hogwash. We'd seek the council if Freya's priestesses were up, but how can we when we can't get to the shrine? And nobody's gotten a glimpse of the beast, from a distance even? Oh, they have, they have. Right close. Closer than boot and strap. Soon after, their blood spattered the underbrush. Near from the start, no ordinary man could handle the beast. But Svera insisted. Mustered a crew and... 
Only four came back. The rest mm. massacred east of the village. So, will you help? Sounds a bit interesting. Let's talk Let's about talk the reward about first. Reward. You want to bargain? Yeah. How would you count it? Heighten hands at the withers, or...? Hmm. My species. Drowner's less than a cockatrice. Aha! Uh -huh. But we've no notion what prowls the mm. high road. What do you say you cut it down and then we'll talk? Mm -hmm. Huh. We pre-agree a price. Define a bonus for unforeseen risks. Come on. So, how much? Ah, there we go. <laughs> we persuade you. Wait, what? 520 crowns? The base rate? That's so much. Okay, I guess we can make it 5... 560. Ah, your neck on the line. I'll tend to it. I'll Don't tend worry. to the monster. Not your first, that's clear enough. Not like our lads. Heads full of fire, but not a morsel of thought between them. The four survivors. Where'll I find them? Aim to talk to Sphere. Maybe it ain't a bad Sphere. idea. They're sitting over there by that hut. Okay, thanks. So I think it is a new quest, or a new contract, I should say. S -s -s here. Svana. Can I have a word? You? I serve the goddess and her flock. What can I help you with? Horseshoes? What's with the horseshoes? Those who wish to race in the hero's <gasps> pursuits. Hang on them. Race? Is that a series of races? Hmm. Oh, please tell can me that. Can I just sign up? Or is this a closed event? Freya sees no insiders, no outsiders. Any man yes, can pay his more races. by risking his life Think. in the pursuits. Our races differ from those of the continent. Differ. We are beholden to one rule alone. First across the line wins. Sometimes he's the swiftest. Oh. Other times it is the one who knocks his opponents off their oh. Um, explains the name. Sounds a bit dangerous. Courage. If you do not lack it, hang a horseshoe. Hang a horseshoe. Our race, sure. A bit of exercise never killed anyone. So, where are the races held? The first three on Ard Skelly. Whoever wins each at least once returns oh, here to Hindusbjörn. More than three. To face last year's best rider. Ah, okay. I see. Three gotcha. on the main island. What's his name? And one you here. Mean hers. Astrid of Speakerog, known as the Vipers. Lovely as monikers go. And completely deserved. Good luck with you. May your deeds oh, bring goddess pleasure. Nice. Another horse race. Yes. <laughs> I'm so glad I talked to her. Um, by the way, here we have a friend. An armorer. How can I be we'll definitely talk with you. In times like these, don't pay to save coins on weapons. So what do you have, we have? First of all, wow, okay. that is some pretty heavy armor. Pretty durable armor, I should say. I think we're good though. There's no need to repair anything. So I guess so see you later. And we should be done now. Or oh, wait, actually. The notice board I didn't grab yet. Right here. Very nice. Did we get anything? No. Oh, wait. Contract. No. Okay. It wasn't anything. That's fine. Let's return to our girl now, Jennifer. Come here, Roach. Come on. Let's go. I wonder where Jennifer has gone to. We left her off before, so I don't know. Um, perhaps over here. Ah, there you are. <laughs> A bite. Just one more. What? what am I hearing? One piece. A crumb. Uh, Food, food. Uh, that's gross. <laughs> Shank, not, not again. 
talking beast. Yes. God. That is scary. Yeah, he doesn't. <laughs> True. Mm. So let's see now. Very cool place. Very cool garden. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily. But Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. I should check for loot, by the way. Don't see anything. Signs of Craven. Oh, now cuts in. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains. See them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Okay. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a ball and chain. Plan <laughs> to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Yes, you can. Fine. See you later then. Don't get hurt. Remember, I need you if I'm to find Siri. But I want to find Siri too. Oh, come. I was just teasing. Fool. I need you. Period. Better? Yeah. Mm, kind of. Better. <laughs> ah, I love Jennifer. Your character is so, so funny. Sometimes. What is this house? Oh, God. I feel like this is the perfect place for a monster to be hiding. Okay, thank God, he's locked. <laughs> um, hmm. Footsteps. Light prints. Craven trod carefully. Light prints. They go. Where do they go? Here. Down. Oh God. Ah. Wolf. Let's use our ability. Damn. Nice. Okay, and anything else? Nope. Let's continue. Scrap this flower. Why not? Oh. That, those are beasts. Monster tracks. Monster tracks. Running. Chasing something. I think that's the one we saw before. So let's leave it. Is this some blood? Oh god. <gasps> Not you again. Ah, one more, really? Nice. Now he's with me. <laughs> but I'll kill you anyway. Fools, fools, all of you. So what is this? Looks like Morkvar got bored of sneaking around and attacked. And attacked, oh god. <gasps> so many prints. Craven's blood. Oof. Okay, do the footsteps, yep, they continue. Oh, I think they end up around here. Craven was injured, started running. Started running? Oh no, hmm. Snook. Door won't budge. Or Craven must have blocked it. Or it's just locked. Gotta go round. Around. Hmm. So where? The further parts of the herbarium, so should be over this wall. Oh, we can't climb it? Hmm. Guess we can go around. Ah, it should be up here. Hello, Jennifer. Ah, this must be it. No. Anybody home? Ah, I can't climb it. Maybe this though. Ow! Nope, can't climb it. Maybe now we can enter those doors. Oh, wait a minute. Can I climb up there? Ah, never mind. Okay. Jeez, we need to go all the way around? That's weird. Okay, Wolf, I'll deal with you real quick. Uh, oh. He's 
this. No bite marks. Morgfark doesn't eat his victims. Strange. Is it Craven? No, it this strange. one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come closer. Her senses are really dulled. <laughs> ah, let's not chat for now. <gasps> oh, it's the wolf killed. Okay. So down here then, I guess. Ooh. Those are stairs there, aren't they? Or I should say some Up sort of prints, ladder. Old and new. His lair must be nearby. Lair. Yep. It is some sort of ladder. Stone ladder. Oh. Can't cross that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. Uh -huh. Use the lever to open the floodgates. But there are two of them. Oh, wrong button. Did this do anything? Oh, that opened that. What does this do? Hello? Nothing? Wait. I do this again. We'll open. Oh, now we open that one. Um. Oh, actually, wait. Can I enter? If I swim. Ah, that must be it then. Should be it. Okay. And we are here now. I think this is the place we couldn't go for. Should be. Oh, wait. Actually, isn't that what I think? Oh, Symbol of Freya. never mind. It's a new place. Okay. So this must be the lair that. Bark broke through this door. Must have smelled something beyond yeah. it. Quote. <sighs> Untouched. No sign of feeding. Markvar doesn't devour his victims. Strange. Ah, we found something. Is that an arm? It's blue. It always grows back. I want to kill you. Starting to envy you. Wish to hear the story. Yeah. So, mister. If I have to, I'm all ears. Warriors came. They knew they could not kill me. So they laid a trap. Chained me down. Locked me in here. Know what I did? Oh, I bit my leg off. Oh, free ah, that's myself. horrible. Every bite brought pain. And howling, I vomited that's blood. That's bad for you. Mm -hmm. Biting off your own limbs hurts. Who would have thunk? You don't understand. <gasps> This was oh. war. Uh, my mouth burned uh, like swallowing fire. <laughs> All inside me was torn. Uh, Felt I would die. Too bad for him. <laughs> but I, I did it. <laughs> and then. I shredded them, bashed them to bits, uh, made tiny crumbs uh, uh, of those plowing heroes. Uh. Hmm. Your story have a point. We're just doing some chest pounding. The moral of his. You cannot kill me. Uh, 
can't stop me. I'll not be bound. Break it. I can't do this one too. Of course. Free me or I'll return to get you. Hey, hey, Geralt, no. Please. Oh, God. We need to kill him now. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Okay, interact. Willing to talk now? Only now can I. Slash is the curse. Uh, uh. Let me bite, uh, scratch, mangle, uh, till I drop. Uh, you've got time before the blood's gone from me and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. Uh, undo, undo the curse. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will reward you. Yeah. So, no joy in being a werewolf? Nay. It's the worst. Not uh, the garden uh, to which I'm bound, even. But uh, the hunger, uh, anything I devour turns to ash. Ash, I cannot eat, I cannot drink, yet I bloody live and roam and prowl. The hunger is terrible, terrible. Oh. I bite my own flesh, but the smallest morsel burns my throat. Throat. Ah oh, man, Boiling it's horrible. Everlasting hunger, classic as curses go, goes to explain why all those corpses went untouched. Help. Or I'll return to shred you, rip you limb from limb. Even though you are threatening me, I kind of want to help. I'll see what I can do, man. Let's see. See what I can do. See and do, or I shall return. <laughs> Feed? Wait. Feed Morkra. Morkra. Wait, what? Why would I do that? Isn't that hurting him? Let's see if we can do this the easy way. Morkvarg, of my own free will, I offer you this fare. Now dig in. Won't turn to ash. Won't know until you try. Come on. Wait, what did I do? Daddy. Fuck! This shite again! Okay, farewell. Farewell. See you. I want to help you. I don't know how. Wait, what? He left? <gasps> no. Wait, wait, what? Is he. I don't understand. Is he dead? We got his meat. Um, I don't know actually. I really don't. Alright, everyone. That's gonna be it for today's episode. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video like always. So in today's episode, we went to the Druid camp, which is the place that the magic explosion happened, where Siri did the magic explosion thing. And we went to the site and it turns out Yennefer had the mask with her, the mask of Ouroboros, and she used it, which Hermione warned us to not use it. 
as it's dangerous apparently. But she still did it in order to find Siri. And we took the mast, actually Geralt took it and wore it. And we saw a few things from the past, which turns out Siri was with another companion mage and they were running off. They were running, oh, I guess they were running from their attacker, which was a rider from the Wild Hunt. And I think Siri used the portal to go to Velen again. So maybe after Skellige we need to go back to Velen. Not sure. And later we went together with Yennefer to the gardens of Freya to find more Vrak, which is sort of beast. It was a man that turned into a beast. And the last thing we did was we tried to unlift the curse to turn more more bar more bar I don't know what his name is. Anyway, to turn him back to normal. So in the next episode, we will be continuing with that and hopefully do side quests. Not sure. We'll see though. So anyways, see ya.